Hey guys, so the Android 8.0 update has been leaked for the OnePlus 5 and I wanted to test it out here on my uh, OnePlus 5 here. Check out the official software uh, which you should be actually getting on the OnePlus 5T which is due out in a couple of days. Uh, so I have just installed this and we can have a look at the update. Uh, you can see straight away here we do get the same kind of notification area as uh, your stock uh, kind of devices here like the Google Pixel 2. Uh, so it's a little bit different in terms of the colours uh, but obviously you do have the ability to change them as you wish. I'm actually running uh, Android uh, 8.1 here on the Pixel 2 but quite similar obviously all based upon Oreo. Uh, we can just have a look in the settings here and see the actual build number uh, so it's Oxygen OS 5.2 and you can see the Android version here which is very nice uh, coming with the Oreo game maybe the Octopus uh, so that's quite cool I uh, gotta hand it to OnePlus, they're very good when it comes to the updates uh, unfortunately we still have the jelly effect so they haven't really figured that out yet but maybe that's a hardware issue uh, you can have a look in the shelf area, pretty much the same I think in terms of the actual settings, you still have your widgets access uh, we can just have a look as well in the wallpapers, do we get anything different uh, it doesn't seem to be quite similar there. Do we get uh, the quick uh, access here when you hold down the apps? It does seem to be. Uh, so you can quickly you know, uh, do actions here, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, let's have a look at downloading something, because usually you do get dots now uh, when you download something. So we we'll just download this or sometimes it comes up as well as an uh, actual circle uh, but not, it doesn't seem with this update uh, but you do get the little dot there which is nice and we can have a look in the uh, the uh, camera here, some people have been I think reporting some stability issues with the update so if we just uh, go to the camera I think some people have been saying it uh, crashes when you do the video recording ah uh, yes you can see stop due to error so it's probably not the best uh, you know uh, ROM to put on if you want stability here uh, the actual uh, interface looks quite similar to before obviously you do get uh, your uh, self uh, what's this shoot with portrait so portrait mode is still there obviously dual camera uh, which is nice and also the uh, other stuff here, your other toggles are all quite similar, pro modes there uh, which is good and uh, what else do we have, let's have a look uh, in the settings here, let's see if we can see anything uh, so let's go to the uh, display, maybe we have something in here uh, any like screen optimizations I uh, can't see anything too different here obviously uh, OnePlus does bun like bungle quite a lot of stuff in there already which is uh, quite good and uh, I don't think uh, there's much else difference really there may be some underlying improvements to you know the battery life because I do hear that Oreo is quite uh, good when it comes to that so uh, you know, we're definitely uh, worthwhile for that particular aspect. But personally, I'd recommend you hold a fire and stay on the official run because you know, video recording is quite imp important at the end of the day. You know, particularly when it's like bonfire night or something. So, yeah, just a quick little video here checking out uh, Android 8.0. We'll leave a link in the description if you want to get it on your device to try it out. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.